Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. It's election day. It's Taco Tuesday. And I'm also giving you the heads up about this. I mentioned it yesterday. I'm going to mention it for the rest of the week because it now looks like we have the day as to when the first freeze will take place. So if you want to enter the contest, our next freeze contest, head to our website, texomashomepage.com. You can win this awesome recliner, but you don't just, you can't just guess the day. You also have to guess the hour and the minute that we're going to have our first freeze. So the day it looks like we pretty much nailed that down. I'll show that to you coming up at the hour and minute. It, that's up to you. Take a look at what the election day forecast. Upper 60s, upper 70s from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Polls, of course, open at 7, close at 7. And we'll have a lot of clouds around for today, mostly cloudy by 7 o'clock. Winds will be increasing up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour in the afternoon. Fairly light winds this morning, but those winds will be ramping up. Temperatures across the region, upper 50s, mid 60s for Amarillo and Oklahoma City, but still upper 60s for DFW Airport, Wichita Falls, 45 degrees in Albuquerque. Uh, the coldest air is back to the northwest. We're still waiting on that. Radar satellite clouds, yes. A couple scattered showers, mainly to the north and northeast. And these will. this is the area that will have the best chance for some rain. Northern, northeastern parts of Texoma this morning. And the rest of the day will be dry. We'll just keep that layer of uh, moisture, humidity, certainly sticking around. The clouds will be around as well with a mostly cloudy sky through the afternoon. But lots of clouds back to the southwest. We're also keeping an eye on this potent storm system moving across California, bringing some much needed rain and higher elevation snows to California. But this low, We'll track to the northeast, but it's also going to pull in some cold air as it passes by to our north. So we're on the warm and windy side of the storm until that cold front moves in late Thursday. Rain chances low, an isolated shower storm for this morning. Looks like we could see a few more isolated to widely scattered showers and storms Thursday as the cold front moves in. So that would be Thursday afternoon, Thursday night for a few squeezed out showers and thunderstorms as that cold front barrels on in. We'll go from the upper 70s, low 80s today and tomorrow, mid 70s Thursday into the 50s. So yes, start pulling out some of that cold weather gear, the scarves, the hat, the gloves. And I, I enjoy just a good pair of comfortable sweats and a hoodie. Yeah, it's getting to be that kind of weather coming up. We have another front coming in by the end of the weekend too. Here's a look at the 10 day low temperature trend, mid 60s for the next couple of days. Uh, there's the low temperatures dropping down to around freezing below freezing Saturday, Sunday. So if you're guessing that first freeze, I'd probably aim at Saturday. Good choice. But then as we head into the early part of next week, we'll still keep those war or those low temperatures on the low side. Another freeze may come by late next week too. Future cast today, a couple isolated showers this morning, then we'll clear out at least partially for the afternoon. We're not going to see abundant sunshine, a mostly cloudy sky through the afternoon, a couple breaks, 79 for the high, 65 as we start Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon up into the low 80s. It's going to be a breezy south wind up around 15 to 25 miles an hour, 64 to start Thursday. Cold front comes in 75 Thursday afternoon. You see a few showers and storms along and behind that front. But once that front moves in, winds come around to the north. The temperature is going to drop pretty quick. Highs for today, a mix of mid 70s, upper 70s. A couple spots will be near 80. Stray shower, thunderstorm, especially north and northeast for this morning. Rest of the day, cloudy to mostly cloudy. So not much in terms of sunshine today. And we'll try to get a little bit more sunshine in here tomorrow with highs, low 80s. Isolated shower storm possible late Thursday as the cold front moves in. Windy, colder Friday. And we're going to have that freeze first thing Saturday morning and probably Sunday morning as well. But look at those highs staying in the 50s and probably going to stay that way for most of next week as well. Stay right there. We have more coming up after this.